Okay. Oh, let me start the clock. You know what's weird is I didn't know um, I have <laughs> the chairs kind of like pushed in just so we're both in there, but yeah. I, I didn't. Is it like, close enough? I think they're close enough. Okay, I'm starting the clock. Okay. I oh. got to remember to smile because I recently, oh, so you can start, I guess. Yeah, I started, but that's fine. What, but you recently what? Well, I, um, do I need to introduce myself? Hi, I'm Tom Kearns. I was going to, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm here with Tommy Kearns. <laughs> and, then, and then I was going to say, oh, I'm here with Tommy Kearns. But then you were talking about your smile. You recently what? Well, um, I saw a video of myself um, taking photographs. And it was, uh, the, I was shooting the roots, you know, that kid, the guy Questlove, he's got the big fro. Yeah. And um, we were shooting him in this uh, ba -ba 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 music studio that was like, it was like this crazy studio in, in Times Square where they, um, they like recorded like the, the Notorious B.I.G. album and like Jay-Z's Blueprint and stuff. So it was like this really cool studio and so like so we had um had my assistant filming the whole thing because i thought it'd be like you know th this could be cool and um and then we made a we made a little video out of the whole thing and i realized like i looked like a total dick while i was working because i wasn't smiling at all so i was like really serious yeah so now when i'm on film you like want now smile. i try and smile warmly you kind of look like um <laughs> I'm sure you get it all the time. What's that? When you smile, you kind of look like that. Um, God, what's that actor? He was in Fight Club. Edward, Edward Norton. Norton. Yeah, you yes. must get that all the time. I actually thought about last last. Uh, I was thinking about putting an acting reel together uh -huh. and maybe sending it to Ed Norton and being like, "Hey, the poor man's Ed Norton. I could be a little brother in movies and stuff." Hmm. And so I was going to be like, uh, you know, the well, poor man's Ed, Ed Norton. It's basically what my acting reel was going to consist of, and I was going to put together all these like action scenes and stuff like that. Well, what would what would the end result of that be? Well, that would be my acting uh, resume, and maybe I would get a movie part, and maybe I would be an actor. Yeah, but why send it to Ed Norton? Like, he, well, you know, because he, he's because he, I look like him. Maybe like he's working on a part. He needs a little brother. Or oh, something. so like, so like um, some big producer is like, oh Ed, we got this great movie for you. Yeah, and you're like. Oh, and Ed's all like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I can do it, but this guy, Tommy Kearns, could probably He's like, do oh, it. That's, or I could send it to other producers and casting agents where they need Ed Norton, but they just need um, one that isn't uh, quite as tall or muscular. Um, but I have green eyes. I don't know. I think that's kind of sellable nowadays. Yeah, green eyes are popular. Um, did you ever watch the uh, Big Trouble in Little China? No. The girl has green eyes in that movie. Or the, um, is, or the National Geographic cover, does she have green eyes or blue eyes? I don't know, I can't remember. I, it's funny, I know what cover you're talking about. It's like 20 years old, mm -hmm. but um, I can't remember what color her eyes are. Okay, yeah. Huh. Uh, but yeah, or like, so like, I could be his little brother in a movie. Uh -huh. Or I could be like they have a movie where they need Ed Norton, but they can't afford it. There I go. You should write a movie like that. Do you ever write? Uh, I have. I, I wrote a movie when I was like 15, and then it was on this word processor. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you remember those things, but they had like really limited memory, and like the screen was like a strip. Yeah, but then you like could print it out. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, or like it was also a typewriter, and then. Um, I think I unplugged it for like a, a couple days and, I, and it erased, so I never wrote another movie again. Oh, huh. that's kind of sad. They say that the first movie isn't, is like you might as well just throw it away anyhow. Well, I guess that's what I did. Yeah. I like the idea of writing a novel, but I never have written a novel. Uh, I'd like to be a writer without having to write, because I like the lifestyle. What is the lifestyle of a writer? I don't even know. I don't know. Uh, I imagine it would be wearing um, nice knit sweaters, a lot of uh, solitude and isolation, and shooting guns. Hmm. That's so glamorous.
other side of it. Uh, but it's probably just hours and hours of being alone and bored. It's probably a lot of writing. I would imagine there might That's, be a little bit of writing, but I think like they just write in verse. You know, so, yeah, I think that most most well known writers write all the fucking time, constantly. Yeah. And I like that, like most, a lot of, that's five, that's five minutes. I shouldn't have sworn. Well, I try not to swear, but that's all right. You can bleep it out. Nah, that's too much work. I'm gonna stop the video.